Polls are spelling very, very clearly that this is going to be possibly a total annihilation for the president. This is not a good look for him. I'm going to go over some poll data for you. I'm going to try and make this as quickly as possible. Okay, I just want you to remember we're in the middle of a pandemic. Okay, um, I'm going to split this up into a, a few videos possibly of how Trump is losing. But let me go over this because new uh, NBC and Wall Street Journal poll came out. And it shows total doom for the Trump campaign here, okay? Um, so the president right now is down, okay? Now, he's been down the entire general election, okay? I don't know how Joe Biden's an old, demented, senile grandpa with no ideas and no policies. Uh, don't tell the centrist, <laughs> right? They're going to cry. But, okay, so um, Trump went, uh, okay, Biden went from an eight, point lead over Trump to a 14 point lead over Trump. Oh, oh boy. Now let me just go over the numbers and then I'll, I'll give you my thoughts. Okay. So nationally, now look, these are national polls. They're not telling you what's going on in every single state. Okay. Um, so you can look into those polls and if I have any more, I'll share them. So, nationally, Joe Biden went from, let's see, let's see here, I'm trying to get it, all right, so, Joe Biden is now at a 53 to 39 point lead, 53, 49, that is a total of 14 points ahead of Trump. I don't know if you guys realize this. This is really bad. <laughs> I do not know how to put this, but oh crap. If I was Trump, I would definitely be a little bit more afraid because uh, this is not good at all. Um, uh, you know, the fact that Trump is now down by this much prior to this, he was down by eight. This is really bad. Here's what the catastrophic news is. Trump's, one of Trump's key parts to his base is uh, seniors. Seniors voted for him in overwhelming numbers last uh, last time around, four years ago in 2016 over Hillary Clinton, deservedly so. Um, although I don't know how, uh, when Trump was gonna cut everything they, they, they needed in life and he did. And he wants to with his payroll tax. But anyway, um, that has come back to bite him because now he is at 60 he so trump is now down okay by 27 points among seniors you want to know it 62 percent for biden 35 percent for trump 62 to 35 guys this is nothing to play with he's losing seniors one of his key components of his base is now deteriorating it's leaving and he's losing, losing, Contr contrary to what, what every other right winger, right winger will tell you, he is losing massively, horribly, terribly. Now, so he lost one of his key components, the seniors who voted for him in overwhelming numbers. Okay, And seniors always show up to vote, always. It never fails. They're not like us young people. Okay. I have my theories on that. But anyway, how about white suburbanite women? White suburbanite women. <laughs> I just love saying that. The white suburbanites, the women that he says, oh my God, I'm going to protect you. I'm going to do law and order. I'm going to protect your American cities. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the black and brown people out of your cities and I'm going to protect you. The 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 suburban love uh, the suburb suburban women love me because I'm going to protect them. Well, mm, According to this poll, Biden is up 58 to 33, 25 points. Oh, oh my God. Let me just take a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is real bad. Really, 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 really bad. Um, I don't know how to put this. All right. Um, 
because Trump before was was it wasn't that bad. It was 51 to 43. It was only eight points nationally. OK, and, and all the other numbers had Biden at a lesser lead other over suburban women. Now Trump has lost these women who he says love him. Oh, God, two components of his base gone, gone. Wow. OK, how about uh, men 50 plus now men 50 plus. This is like this is Trump's base. OK, you cannot talk about Trump's base without talking about men 50 plus and older. OK, 50 and older. You can not talk about Trump's base. I don't care who you are without talking about these dudes. They voted for Trump in overwhelming numbers. Guess what? They're now tied. It's basically a tie. There could be times where Trump is up and then there could be Trump times where Trump is down and Biden is up. That is a problem. The fact that now the basiest part of Trump's base, this is ace of base, Trump's base 101, key support, key component of his base, now gone almost. It's a toss up. That is a, a, a significant problem for Trump. So he's lost, the, he's lost the seniors. He's lost the suburbanite women, the suburban women. And he's lost the men 50 plus, 50 and over. What's going on? Well, one, people are sick and tired. Okay, we're in a pandemic. We've lost 210,000 people. 40 million people have lost their jobs and are going to lose their homes and their health care and their wages. 750 to 1,000 people are dying because of COVID. 1,427 or 429 people died during the weekend that Trump was at uh, Walter Reed Hospital because they didn't have Walter Reed Hospital to cure them from the coronavirus uh, or of them of the coronavirus. We've got 7 million people infected with the coronavirus, 40 to 50,000 people infected a day with the coronavirus. Okay, now. How about uh, what what other problems is he having right now during the pandemic? He didn't give UBI. He didn't give none of that. OK, that's a problem. Also, this strategy of. And, and before I get to the last strategy, let me let me also tell you, he's down in Florida and Pennsylvania, five to seven points, respectively. If he loses Florida, that's a problem because Florida has been seen as this must win. So Trump's in definite trouble. Now, if he loses Pennsylvania, oh, geez, like Biden has more of a a lot of space to kind of a lot of space to kind of wiggle around and put the math together in a certain way to win. Trump doesn't have that right now. Now, what's the other part that's making him lose this? Not only are people sick and tired, but he's painting Joe Biden as this. Uh, so number two, he's he's painting Joe Biden as this uh socialist, left-wing, radical, Antifa, BLM person, which couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, I laugh at that. But when people hear that, apparently, I don't know if I see this, okay? But people are seeing, hearing that and they're going, I don't buy your argument, but I'm still going to vote for him even more now. Or they say, you know, I don't buy your argument, um, but I'm still going to vote. I'm still going to vote for him. Mm. So either they buy it and they'll vote for Joe Biden or they don't buy it and they'll still vote for Joe Biden. Oh, good night, Irene. If these polls are right, I don't necessarily believe them because I remember 2016. OK, if these polls are right, mm, that's a massive problem. Now, lastly, Trump is running on this no change campaign. I don't want to change a single thing. I'm going to keep everything the way it is. Well, right now, everything the way it is is a massive problem. And why the company, the, the country, the company, the country feels more comfortable with Joe Biden in charge of the coronavirus um, pandemic crisis. Oh, why would you run a no change campaign? That's so stupid. In 2016, he ran a change campaign. Hillary ran a boring, old, stale ass, soulless campaign. And he won because he ran on actual change. Wasn't well, gonna do a damn thing about it. And he hasn't. But that's what he ran on. Guys, if these polls are correct, and I, I'm kind of 50 50 on them, this spells total doom and annihilation for the Trump campaign. And if I was them, I would, I would switch strategies 
really quickly. 